Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're exploring ideas for wearing a green tie. So green is one of those colours that's not really inspirational and not a colour that a lot of people wear with a suit. Um, a green tie goes well with uh, tweeds and those sort of co uh, coloured outfits but not necessarily uh, with modern suits. So the idea of this video is to give you a little bit of inspiration, to give you a little bit of a guide, an idea of how to introduce a green tie into wearing a suit or a jacket of some description. And we're gonna use three main templates for that. So the first one's gonna be a navy blue pinstripe suit. Uh, the other one's going to be a charcoal grey suit, two-piece suit, and the other one is going to be a navy plain blue navy suit. For the shirt, I'm going to wear the same shirt for each wear, and that is going to be a white standard shirt, classic fit. Um, this is just to keep it balanced throughout the video so you can see the different transformations of each tie. So, without further ado, let's try the first one, the navy pinstripe three-piece suit, and see how we go from there. So here we have a plain light green tie. It's a satin finish to it, which is not a very usual sort of finish you'd want to wear with a suit. But in this case, the light catches it well. And uh, because a three-piece pinstripes navy suit is quite a formal look, we've used a semi-formal knot, half Windsor, with a dimple, and uh, picked up some of the greens in the actual pocket square, uh, along with some blues. And uh, so it's a little bit more relaxed in the wearing of the suit. I would say that uh, green's one of those colours that I would say it's more of an informal wear than a very formal business look. So uh, although this it does bridge the gap I think. Um, so if we change the tie and the pocket square maybe we could introduce a little bit of pattern as well and uh, you'd get a slightly different feel for that. So here we've changed the tie for one that's got a bit of pattern in it. It's got some rust colours, some browns. The tie itself is predominantly olive in colour. We've picked up some of the browns and the uh, oranges and the greens in the pocket square. It does change the formality of the three-piece navy pinstripe suit. Um, again, it's a good look, but again, not the high end of formal uh, for business wear, I would suggest. So there's two looks for the three-piece pinstripe suit. Now let's try the charcoal grey two-piece suit and uh, look at some different coloured greens to incorporate into wearing that suit. So on this occasion we're now wearing the two-piece grey charcoal suit, um, single breasted. We're using a green tie with a slight motif on it, very subtle, um, still using the white shirt. Um, interestingly the grey really does complement this tie, or this tie complements the suit, rather than a darker suit. So pocket square, similar colour, picking out the green, very straightforward. Um, yeah, another reasonable look for somebody that has to wear uh, a grey charcoal suit and wants to liven it up a little bit, but not make it too informal. So this time we've introduced uh, more apple-like greens in it, using a checked tie this time. Um, Again, not a bad look, uh, dimple in the tie, picking up some of those uh, 
muted apple green colours in the pocket square and I think it goes reasonably well with the charcoal suit. Again it lifts it a little bit and lightens it as well so it's not too stuffy and not too much of a formal look either. So the next suit is the plain navy suit. Let's see how we get on with that. So on this occasion we've introduced a striped tie, a silver stripe on a darker bottle green uh, tie base. Uh, the actual suit is a navy single breasted suit, two piece. Picked up some of the bottle green colours in the pocket square and I think this is a reasonable look for a navy suit um, wearing green goes well with the white shirt. I would be very careful with the colour of the shirt that you'd use to wear with this suit and this tie combination. So let's try a variation of this for our final look at wearing a green tie. So for the final look we've introduced a slightly different pattern tie. Again green in colour uh, adding a little bit of texture and uh, pattern to the actual ensemble. Kept the same pocket square because of similar colours in the background of the tie and uh, I think this is another semi-formal look again uh, but the tie gives it a little bit of added interest. Very easy to make it look very uh, official and officious. So um, that's the final look. Um, if you like the video then give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe then please feel free to do so. We love comments especially if they're uh, positive ones so uh, please jot them down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, I think that's it. This is the second part of a series in Unusual Ties. Uh, if you'd like to make a recommendation for a video then jot it down below and we'll have a look at it and see if we can incorporate it into our future videos. So until next time, take care.